Welcome to part three of this series on how to find freelance jobs as a web developer. First of all, I wanna say thank you for all the good comments I've been getting in the last video. It really means a lot to me. So in video number one, I showed you how to figure out what are the best companies that you could apply to work with. So in video number two, I showed you after you figured out which companies that you should be applying at as a freelance developer, that the best way to find freelance jobs is through a process called mechanical outreach. The reason mechanical outreach is the best method for finding clients is that you use technology tools to do most of the work for you. And as far as I know, this is the only method that I know that could allow a freelancer with no experience, uh, no connections to get all the clients that he needs, high paying clients to sustain a uh, profitable career right away without having to spend more than two hours a week trying to find jobs. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the steps of mechanical outreach and I'm going to show you everything that you need to set up so you can get started right away. So the first step is finding who to contact. I've shown you in video number one how to figure out which are the good types of companies that you should apply to. But more than that, because mechanical outreach is a method that leverages email, it's a method that you get clients through sending emails, you have to find their email addresses in order to be able to email them. And the problem most people have is it's easy to find companies that you could work with on Google, social media, but the problem is if you look on their social media pages, if you look on their website pages, oftentimes the only email address that you get is their support email. For example, support at Walmart, Dot com, the way you get a high level response and more job offers is through contacting the email addresses of the exact person you want to reach in the company. For example, the recruiters, the managers, the uh, owners, the key decision makers. And the problem is these email addresses typically are not on the websites of most companies. So the first thing you need to set up is a system that allows you to find these email addresses that are not on these companies' websites. In my experience, there's two ways that are easy and work pretty well. First of all, you can use automation through scrapping tools, which are programs that are gonna go on websites such as LinkedIn and are going to extract that information automatically for you. Otherwise, you can also automate through outsourcing, you can typically find people on Upwork pretty easily who are going to be uh, willing to do that job for you and find these email addresses. And in my experience, it's very easy to find people on Upwork who are going to be willing to do that for very cheap. Otherwise, you can also use certain tools. And the easiest one that I know that you could use is a website called hunter.io. And the way this website works is all you have to do is enter the domain of the website you're trying to get. For example, uh, if you're trying to reach Walmart, uh, walmart.com is their domain. So you enter walmart.com and what hunter.io does is it's going to share with you all the email addresses of these different people working at walmart.com that have been found over the internet in the last couple of years. And even when you don't find the email address of the people that you're looking for, you typically can find the email address of another key decision maker in that company that would also be a good option for you to contact to get a job working for that company. After that, step number two is you have to find good email templates that you can use to help you write your emails faster. There's a lot of places you can find email templates. I found a lot on different books on email outreach and some of them have been a lot better than others. So if you decide to go through that route, I recommend you do try a lot of the, these different templates uh, to make sure that you can find one that's pretty good. Otherwise, you can also create your own templates, although this possibly will take a lot of trial and error will take a lot of time for you to learn how email marketing works. And it might take you a lot of time and effort to finally end up with a good template. 
The way I found my email templates is when I started uh, trying to find clients, I tried to make my emails myself. And at first I didn't get a lot of results. And what I realized is that I used to be working at a web development agency. My ex boss was getting clients through emails. And most of the time when he was contacting clients that I would work for, he would uh, forward me the email conversation that he was doing with them. So I had on my email inbox, a lot of good examples of the emails that he sent to get them as clients. I thought if I make emails similar to that and I send them to the right people, I should be getting pretty good results. And so by modeling what he was doing, I was able to create emails that were good enough so that in less than 10 emails that I sent, I was able to find my first high paying job as a freelance developer. In the last couple of years, what I did is I read a lot of books on how to get clients through email and I tested a lot of templates. And what I did is I took the best of uh, what my ex boss was doing and the best of all the templates that I found on these different books. And what I ended up with is probably the best performing email template that I've ever used. And that's especially because it is specifically tailored to the needs of a web developer. And if you want to be using this email template, I'm going to give it to you as part of my freelance starter pack, which is a set of resources that's going to come out in two days that includes a full course and these email templates and more for anyone who want to get started as a freelance developer. If you want to get access to that, as soon as the freelance starter pack comes out, I'm going to include a link in the description. And I'm also going to make a video in two days from now and tell you how to sign up if you want to get your hands on it. After that, step number three is you want to set up automation tools for your follow-ups. Most of the results that I'm getting from email are when people don't respond to the first email, you send them more emails called follow-ups. Again, you want to be respectful with them. You want to send a fair amount of them, not too much. And you want them to be spaced apart so people don't feel like you're harassing them. But typically, if you don't send follow-ups, you're leaving more than two thirds of your potential clients on the table. And the beauty about mechanical outreach is that this is something that you can use tools to completely automate. And what this allows you is to get all the benefits from the follow-ups without having to spend the time to track and send them. You want to be using an email outreach tool. You do not want to be using a newsletter tool. And the reason for that is that if you're using a tool like MailChimp, you can send all your follow-ups with that. However, the way MailChimp works, all these follow-up emails are probably going to end up automatically in the person's spam folder. So what you want to use is an email outreach tools. Some example that you could use would be Woodpecker or my favorite would be SmartReach. So mechanical outreach is a three-step process. However, before you get started, uh, I'm going to add a fourth thing that you need to set up. You have to be aware that freelancing works a bit differently from other regular jobs. Freelance jobs, in my opinion, are the best types of jobs for web developers. However, if you don't know the laws, you might end up getting fines. If you don't do your contracts properly, you might end up not getting paid because there's a loophole that a greedy client is going to take advantage of. You might get sued and it's possible that you end up losing clients because if you don't know how to get them to sign contracts and handle them professionally in your communications after uh, they emailed you back, if you end up looking not professional and you don't do your communications the right way, they may decide to not work with you and find someone else. And if you want to learn more, not just about the basics of mechanical outreach, but also about freelancing and learn more about these things, those are all things that we talk about in the freelance starter pack. So if you're interested, again, the freelance starter pack is a full course that teaches you my methods for finding clients. It also includes the email templates and it also includes my proposal template. It's going to come out in exactly two days as of the filming of this video on April 2nd, 2022. If you want to join again, I'm going to make a video that day to announce the launch. And immediately after that, I'm going to include a link in the description of this video. For the first few people who are going to sign up, I'm going to include a crazy limited time 
bonus as a thank you for all the support you've given me in the last couple of weeks and months and years. I don't really care if you buy it or not. I mean, I still know how to find high paying clients as a web developer. I built this course for you. So again, if you want to check it out, as of April 2nd, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. And I'm going to make another video to let you know once the package is officially open for purchase. So with that said, I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.